said, it's time to leave. I mean, you could feel it. You know, I like God when he does stuff like that. I think I like it. You know, he just comes out of nowhere. But it's the content of our character. And here's what I believe. Now listen, here's what I truly believe the devil's trying to do to a lot of us. Maybe not, maybe not you, but he has me. He's tried to do everything he can to trip me up. You say, bad, not, not bad things, just little bitty things. Like trying to get me into unforgiveness. Trying to get me into, into being mad. Trying to get me uh, into, into, you know, to doing this. And there's this lady today, man. And I'm just bold. So I said, you know, you can't talk bad about people and go to heaven. It ain't not heaven. I want to tell you something. God, you can't. None of us can. You're going to go talking bad about somebody, then you better quit. You can't go to heaven doing that. I'm telling you, God told me that. You can't go to heaven talk. This lady, you know, she's, she needs God in her life. She needs him. She needs him in that area. If she's not stirring the pot, then something's wrong with her. They, you know, she's like, well, I'm not happy. I'm not stirring something. You know, people like that won't always stir the pot. That's the devil. But it's the content of our character. Listen, there's a transformation. I'm about done. I appreciate you bearing with me. There's a transformation that's taking place. Let me read this. I love this scripture. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Amen. That's true. You know, I, I want to stop there. You know, it's, it, it's become a selfie world. A self world. Self. Let's take a selfie of us. Yeah. Let's do this. and Let's do that. Me and Jamie were talking about how ridiculous Facebook has got in, in, in some areas because it's like, well, if you're not my friend on Facebook and you don't call me and, and you don't write me on my page, you, you're just not my friend. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. That's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Jesus is our friend. That's all we need. He's the friend that's going to stick closer than the blood. Can I preach a little bit? But here's what I'm saying is there's a transformation, a transformation that's taking place in your life. Well, I want you to, uh, this, this lady last night, man, I don't know if she's having a bad day. She's had a tough time. Daughter, she wrote this big long thing and said, well, uh, I, I need you to call me and let me know the first time you met me. You know, it don't matter, matter if I met you as long as you've met Jesus and Jesus. That's right. all that's going to matter. So that's what I'm putting on there. It ain't going to matter about me or who. It's about Jesus. It's all about him. It's 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 about Jesus. That's who it's about. It's about the king. He's on his way. Oh, you poor darling, they didn't Facebook me on Facebook. It's ridiculous. That's a devil, man. Just something to, you know, let me tell you something. You know this website and all these people got, got bombed on it. Was it Dolly Madison? Whatever it was called. That, what was it called? Oh, sorry, that's Dolly Mass, that's the cake thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. That's good preaching. You'll remember that, won't you? Go Dolly. Hallelujah. That's not Dolly Parton, that's Dolly Mass. No. But anyway, you know why that happened? I'm going to tell you why I'll give him count. God told me why that happened. He said, You think the devil did that? He said, I did that. I said, No way. I said, I said, I, I said, I, I said I, is that really you? He said, I did that, son. He said, I'll tell you why. He said, Because I'm getting ready to come. He said, I'm giving them another chance that I expose them so they'll repent. I believe that with all my heart. He told me, you believe that? I believe God does that thing. I believe he's, that's what he's doing. He, you know, me and Jamie were talking about, what did you say? It's, a, it's something about being exposed. We talked about, what was the word you used? Praise God. Thank you, honey. I, that was going to be, I was going to preach on that for a minute. It's all, you know, she said something about, about being exposed. That's why God's doing it. God's doing it. But you know, out of this exposure, man, there, there was preachers that were caught. They, and some of them committed suicide. That's not what God wanted, but that's their choice. God didn't want them to commit suicide. God wanted them to come to the cross and, and die, and die to their sins, and die to their self. Listen to this preacher. God's doing this. That's why there's all... Oh, I know what she said. She said it's, it's leaky. I think she said that it's the leak. She said it's the, it's the year of the leak. That's what she called it. Well, I remember now. Like, hallelujah, thank you, Holy Ghost. It's like a leaky faucet. Drip, drip. Drip, drip, just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, until it, and God says, okay, let's mean you talk about this. He said, you know, your sins be as scarlet. And that's a good God. That's a wonderful God. Let me tell you this between God and us is God, He ain't out here trying to keep everybody out of heaven like we will. He's not out here against everybody like some of us are. I mean, it's truth. He even rebuked them in the Old Testament and in the New Testament because He said, you know, you're trying to keep them out of heaven. You're going to make them a two-fold child more of hell than you are. He said that Himself out of His own mouth. But God is not like you and me. Aren't you glad? God said when you come to me, He said, you may have been my enemy to begin with. He said, but now you're sitting at my table 
people eating of my fruit. Hallelujah. That's the God that we serve. And that's what happens. Listen, when we are transformed by God, God's talking to us about living a life of substance. We've been transformed. And the evidence of the purchase is one of the greatest messages I've ever heard Billy Graham preach. He was the most, most incredible message. And, and I wasn't as close to God, nowhere near as close to God as I am now. And I remember him preaching about the wind. Yeah. And he said these exact words. And I, I wrote it down. He said, you know, he said, you cannot see the wind. I can't see it with my eyes. I, 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 he said, you can't see it with your tangible eyes. He said, you can't see from which it comes. Even Jesus said, on which it goes. But he went on to say, but you can see the effect, hallelujah, of the wind, glory to God. There has been an effect there in the old covenant when he was talking to Jeremiah. He said, there's been the evidence of the purchase, praise God, that God lives in this earthen vessel, praise God. But the glory and the excellence is not of us, he said, but of him and him alone. And God has purchased us. Now, somebody help me preach before I blow up. Up, up here. God has purchased us. He has taken us and stored us away and said this is the most valuable commodity to me on earth. A soul, a name, a person, a somebody that I long for. Somebody praise God that I died for. But there has been an evidence. The evidence is the effect. Glory be to God of the wind. What is that effect? He's talking about how we've been transformed. You won't do what you used to do. You won't go where you used to go. You won't say what you used to say. You won't be the way you used to be because there has been a, a change. There has been an effect. There has been a transformation of the Holy One of Israel has taken control and has taken this vessel. And he says, I purchased you in my blood. Hallelujah. And I put you in a place that only I know of. A place that is great. A place that is holy. A place that is high and lifted up with me. Hallelujah. God himself said, I have purchased you and I have brought you to this place even tonight. Look where we started and look how far he's brought us. Look at all the things that God has done here in this, this little church. Incredible things. Glorious things. We've seen things that other people don't see. We've heard things. We've experienced things. We have been so blessed by God. But the best is yet to come because He's going to come. And He's going to carry us away. He's not going to ask anybody. He's not going to tell anybody. He's not going to say any more to the world. He's not going to give any more signs. He's not going to shout anymore. He's shouting at the world, right? He's not going to put it on the billboards. He's not going to put it on the movie screens anymore. Praise God, Frida. He's just going to come with mighty angels and mighty power, and he's going to take his purchase. He's going to show the world the ones that he loves. Hallelujah. And he's coming back. And we've got to be ready. That's why God said, I want you to live your life living your life with substance. Amen. And he tells you what it is. It, it's faith. Amen. Of things that we've never seen. But I believe because he said it. Amen. I told Josh, and I was real sick here about a month and a half ago. I was in a terrible battle again. You remember I told you when he walked into my bedroom and that night it was late and what he said, and he was there, he was literally there and he was speaking to me and he said, you know, he said, now if I, you know, because I always talk about all I want to see, I'm going to get a scene. God said, you're going to see me one day. Every one of us is going to see him one day, praise God. Every single one of us, that's what we're living our life for. This is the greatest thing about living a life. For, I'll never be satisfied. We don't belong here. We don't, we, don't, we don't need to belong here. We need to remember that we're not from this place. We're from a stranger. We're a pilgrim. We're from another country. Hallelujah. And God said this, listen. He said, now if I showed up and manifested... And I told you that you were healed. He said, if, if you could see me. And he said, and you know, it's just like the time I kind of felt like name. And you remember, he wanted the prophet to come out. And, 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 and the prophet said, do what my word says. Same deal in Old Covenant. That's what he's telling me now. I didn't know that to just right now, by the way. That's pretty good. Thank you, Jesus. Remember naming when he come out. Why do he come out and perform something over me? And Jesus said, you know, son, 
He said, if I manifested like that and you saw me, and he said, I told you with my own lips and you see me eye to eye. And he says, a tangible prayer. He said, I told you you were healed. He said, you'd believe me, wouldn't you? And I said, yeah, Lord. He said, my word says it. He was gone. Amen. It, it spoke to me. It spoke to me more than anything's ever spoke to me. It's given me more faith. His word declares it and we're going to declare it. And the Bible says that faith doesn't come by cartoons. Come on. Faith, and I love football. I love watching Rocket Man. They're actually calling him that, by the way. Now, thank you, Jesus. But they, 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 they called him there not first time and said, that's the Rocket Man. Faith doesn't come by football games. Faith doesn't come by, and I love music. I love Christian music. But it doesn't come by music. But faith cometh by hearing. And hearing, praise God, by the Word of God. The Word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. He said in Psalm 119, verse 89, Forever, O Lord, thy Word is settled. Hallelujah. It's over with. It's over he settled this done. It's all and we and he sat down. And you've already won. You've already got the victory. You can go ahead and shout. Go ahead and shout. Now. You've already won. You've already got the victory. Last thing I want to say. See, we're not the same anymore because our sin nature has changed. We've been changed. You say, where's that preacher? I'll tell you what he said. He said, Old things have passed away. Behold. You'll even recognize it. You'll look in the mirror and you say it's still mean. But, it, but, it, but, it, but they, there's been a change. Uh, Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Give God praise. There's been a change. Here it is. Here it is. Listen. God said our sin nature has changed. Does that mean you're going to be perfect? No, but, but you're not going to, your sin nature has changed. And I don't know about you, but when I do something, or I, I mean any, any, anything that's, that, that's not what it should be immediately immediately so I just soon not do it because I don't want to I don't like that feeling I don't like to feel that anyway I don't want to ever greet God I, and I try my best I, I, you all know me y'all know me I do my best I give it everything I got if it don't mean I'm still perfect but if I do mess up he immediately that's what I'm saying our sin nature has changed He's become the guardrail. He's the guardrail that keeps us from going over. Come on, somebody. Amen. From going over the edge. Right. He's, the, he's God's guardrail. He's the Spirit of God. He's the bumper. He's the buffeter. He's the one that keeps us, praise God, from going over too far. We get over close to the edge. You'll say, get back over here. He'll not, he'll not condemn you for it. He'll convict you for it. You know what that is? That's his love saying, huh, you ain't a child of the devil. You're my child. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not, you, you're not belong to the world anymore. You belong to me. That's why we don't go to parties and drink no more. That's why we don't need dope no more. That's why I don't need to look at something that's, that's, that's ungodly because I've been filled up with the greatest filling up. Uh, I didn't have to go to the world's gas station to get it. Get in it, Josh. Come on. I didn't have to go to the world's gas station. Amen. I, I went to a heavenly pump. Amen. Called the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's when, you know, you want to put some power in your pump? Get the Holy Ghost in there. Amen. Put some power in it. Put some petrol in there. That'll make you run, praise God, like Elijah did. Coming off Mount Carmel, the power of God. That's the last thing. He is the Spirit of God. Here's what's happened. He didn't tell the devil to leave. He kicked him out. He evicted him. Right. Glory to God. I like the Holy Ghost. I love him, man. He's awesome. He evicted the devil, Joel, out of our life. And he showed up in our life. And then all of a sudden, he began to work. He's not done. Oh, somebody help me now. He's not even finished yet. But thank God he's going to continue to work in your life. And you need to confess that. You need to tell him that. You need to get up and begin to speak that. And you'll begin, when you begin to believe it, it'll begin to happen greater in your life. But if you can't just sit down on God and say, well, God, I'm good. No, God says, get up. I don't want you to sit there and die. You ain't dead yet. You ain't done yet. God's saying, get up and go forth. I've got some more petrol that I want to put in your pump. Hallelujah to God. The Spirit of God has moved in. That's what's happened to us. That's why we do crazy stuff. That's why we're different. And God even said, we're not supposed to be like everybody. You're not going to be like everybody else. You're not supposed to be because you're not a child of the world, a child of disobedience anymore, but you are a child of the living God. Hallelujah. And you've been bought. And He's given you the evidence of the purchase is the Spirit of the living God, the sweet comforter of heaven. He said, I've got to go away, boys. You don't understand. He said, you just think it's getting good. When I go away, there's coming the greatest revival that ever hit planet Earth. There's going to be a move of God, and it's been going ever since the day of Pentecost, and it'll continue until God shouts from heaven, hallelujah, and we're raptured out of this place. 
God said, I'll tell them I'll complete the work that I started in you. I believe that with all my heart tonight. Amen. Stay in your feet. God said, I'll complete the work. Amen. Amen. I want to say one more thing.